Your Sports brought to you by Buick. Well, as usual in Washington, D.C. today, it is Democrats against Republicans, but we're not talking about legislation at the moment. We're talking about a charity game. Congressional baseball is what we're talking about at Nationals Park. Cassie Simeon, a big baseball fan, is there taking it all in. Cassie, curious, of course, about the vibe and the attitude between these two teams, but also the quality of play. How's it looking? reality is Democrats and Republicans are constantly going at each other on Capitol Hill, but they're having a lot of fun tonight going at each other on the baseball diamond. Republicans are currently up nine to five at the top of the fourth inning. And this is a game that means so much to the players because they told me it's all about connecting across the aisle and having a good time. And of course, raising money for charity over two million dollars raised tonight. I want to step out of the way to let you guys see some of the game. And you can see this is a pretty filled stadium. There's over 25,000 people in attendance tonight at Nats Park. To give you some context, an average Nats home game this season so far has only had 25,500 people in attendance. So pretty packed park tonight to watch Democrats and Republicans take on each other in this game. And again, it's for charity. Everyone is in good spirits here having fun. Republicans have won in the last three years, so there's definitely a hunger by Democrats to take the trophy back. It's unclear if they'll be successful just yet, but hey, we haven't seen Alex Padilla hit the mound just yet. Right now, Pete Aguilar is pitching for the Democrats. Florida's Representative Greg Stubbe has been pitching for the Republicans. So a really exciting night here in Washington, D.C., and definitely a break from the contentious politics that we see on Capitol Hill every single day. Well, Cassie, you mentioned a couple of the notable lawmakers out there on the field, but 25,000 attending, there's got to be some notable people in the stands too, right? Yeah, so I caught an eye on Steve Garvey, of course, the Republican running for California Senate. He is here in attendance wearing a Garvey jersey. He was walking around with Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamak, uh, clearly making the rounds, shaking hands, glad-handing, of course, a tough race for him in the Senate. Uh, so he's looking for support, and maybe this is how he shores it up. Of course, he's a former ball player himself playing for the Dodgers and the Padres. So this is a place where he is very comfortable. And you're there in the stands right now. What's the attitude and the vibe like? It's celebratory. Is there any politics chit-chat uh, amongst the people that are rooting for different teams, red or blue? I want to say it's necessary political chit-chat, but we have seen some protesters here tonight. We've seen some pro-Palestinian protesters with flags and signs during the national anthem. We've also seen some protesters run on the field for climate change activists. So there is some politics at play here. Yeah, uh, anytime you get a lot of people together these days, it does seem like people take an opportunity to make a political statement. And where better to make a political statement than one where both teams are organized around political ideologies? Cassie Simeon, we know how much you love baseball. This is your chance to do play by play. We'll be checking out your live stream somewhere on one of your social media accounts for the rest of the game. Go to it. That's Cassie Simeon there in D.C. Uh, thanks so much for being with us tonight here on your evening. Much more, your best hyper local news and special coming up.